we have to face reality, the mountain is not in good condition. Caught in the clouds, and entirely covered in fresh snow, there won't be any summit push today. Traversing the boulder field back to Zara Southeast Ridge is already tricky. This light snow is making every rock slippery, requiring an extreme precaution at every step. Slowly, under a fascinating apocalypse sky, we're heading back to our starting point. The glacial wind and the turbulent ice crystals add a dramatic touch to this spectacular atmosphere. We are disappointed to give up on our objective, but the incredible beauty of the landscapes is quite comforting. It is always a hard decision to turn around, especially after investing so much effort to get there. When I think about it, even the drive is challenging. A long, bumpy and narrow logging road with confusing intersections and loose rocks in some areas. Hiking up the 1000 vertical meters on Zara Peak South Face is definitely an astounding lake burner. The slope is consistently steep from bottom to top on a dry and often unstable terrain. While wrestling to make our way to the Alpine, the view on the magnificent valley keeps opening up. Then came the down climb of Zora Peak. Without a doubt, this has given us some serious adrenaline rush yesterday. Coming down the icy and exposed cliffs with heavy overnight backpacks was exceedingly sketchy. Could we speak of this remote area without mentioning the bushwhack? This wild, untouched and dense vegetation is surrounding all sides of Mount Samson, protecting it from intruders like us. Whoever wants to go to the summit will have no other choice than starting his trip with a long struggle in a thick forest. That day, we didn't make it to the top, but at least we won the fight against the trees. Two months ago, things were different. My first experience with Mount Samson Bushwhack actually started that day. The plan was to climb the mountain while making the approach from a complete different way, hiking along the North Valley. This was also the day of the first encounter with these ferocious and starving mosquitoes. They literally have no sense of danger. They crawl on your clothes, get inside any hole, any fall they can find, and often die while desperately trying to bite you. Constantly attacked by dozens of these bugs, after hours and hours of fight against trees, branches, leaves and tall grass, the decision was made to turn around. The base of the mountain was still too far, and this approach route was a disaster. This is how the first attempt to ascend Mount Samson ended. Not really glorious. Fortunately, we had some plan B objectives for this weekend trip and we were still on time to hike another smaller summit in the area. the top of Face Mountain, my very first look was of course for Mount Samson. It was once again capped with thick clouds, just the way it was when we first saw it, just the way it will be two months later in September, and just the way it will be a year later.
the time to head back to Mount Simpson has come. Many circumstances have made the trip uncertain this year, but it seems like this is finally our chance. I didn't really miss the starving mosquitoes, nor the thick bushes, but being back in the back country felt like a deliverance after this chaotic past month. Sunday 19, summit day. The curse of this mountain hasn't been conjured. As long as this cloud will remain here, we won't be able to make a solid attempt to reach the top of the mountain. And I know now that this cloud could stay here all day. After two more hours of sleep, the weather situation hasn't changed at all. I'm starting to feel desperate. But in a 10 minute time frame, the miracle I was hoping for occurred. This is now or never. Apprehension is growing. The face is somewhat terrifying. I am very doubtful now. Can we even make it? The climb is endless, steep, and crossing all these wet snow sections is fairly risky. keep going up tirelessly until the moment I realize there is no higher place to go. Summiting Mount Samson gives a true feel of adventure, and I think this is what anyone coming here is looking for. There is nothing made to make the trip easier. No paved road, no trail, no cairns, and of course, no one on the way to show you where to go. It is all about being alone on the lonely mountain. Mm -hmm. 